Hi, welcome to Stories at Work, a series where I've been telling you stories to help you build your story bank. Let's start today's story. Today's story is about a devastating forest fire that tragically claimed the lives of 13 firefighters in the mountains of Montana. The date was 5th August 1949. The weather was ripe for a forest fire. It was dry, hot and windy. In a place called Man Gulch, a lightning strike had started a small fire, about 50 to 60 acres wide. Now a gulch is basically a topographic structure with a ravine, you know, slopes on both sides running down to, to a ravine, very steep slopes. Now on the southern side is where the fire had started. The state sent about 15 smoke jumpers to fight the fire. Smoke jumpers are basically firefighters that have been trained to paradrop with gear. A DC-47 left the airbase at about 4 p.m. and reached the northern slope the, uh, and dropped them there. The idea was that these firefighters or smoke jumpers would hike down, trek down to the bottom of the ravine and then go up the southern slope and fight the fire from below because usually mountain fires or forest fires travel upwards. Now, the foreman whose name was uh, Wagner Dodge and his team of 14 people started going down the slope. As they were almost to the bottom of the slope, they saw some uh, smoke coming from the bottom and they quickly realized that the wind had carried some of the sparks and embers from the southern slope fire and had moved it to the northern slope and there was a fire starting at the bottom of the northern slope. They re clearly realized, Dodge knew, that now the fire would come roaring at them. So he quickly asked his men to drop their gear and try and run for safety towards the top of the mountain. As they started running and Dodge looked back, he realized that they wouldn't be able to outrun this fire. The fire was coming very, very fast and the slope was so inclined that it would be difficult to run. That's when Dodge decided to use a very counterintuitive idea. He decided to light a fire himself at his feet. His idea was that as that fire that he had lit moved away, burnt away all the dry grass around and if he stood in the middle then when the forest fire from below would come because that there will be no fuel around it would go around him and that would save him. So after he had lit the fire he took out his handkerchief, wet it from the water in his flask, put it around his mouth and nose and dived in the middle of the ashes that was created by the fire he had lit. Now before he dived he waved and shouted at, at his teammates and asked his team to come and join him. Now many of them had gone away a little too far to hear him because after all the sound of a forest fire is pretty, pretty strong. But even those that saw him and heard him decided not to follow him because they thought he had lost his mind, that he had gone nuts. They tried to run away from the fire. However, tragically, only Dodge and one more person among the rest survived. The rest were not able to outrun the fire. What a tragic story. Now why did they not listen to him? That's because when we see a new idea or hear a new idea that doesn't fit in with our past experience, we think it's nuts, it's not going to work. Where in business can you use this story? Well, you can use this story when you're trying to explain how new ideas often seem to be very strange. Now, if you were coming up with a new idea, Remember that while Dodge did not have too much time to sit and explain his idea, you need to explain your idea, to explain the why behind the idea to everyone so that they understand why this strange new idea, which does not fit in with any of their past experience, is actually very powerful. Hope you enjoyed the story. Do subscribe to our YouTube channel and thanks for watching.